Hi, it's Will from SolvingTheCastle.com, and this is a overview tutorial of how to make a miniature army, or a whole series of um, duplicate miniatures. And uh, what it is is it is how to go from this step, where you have an idea and you draw out a few pictures, to this step, where you have a whole bunch of uh, miniatures made. And I show you the whole process from you know drawing a few sketches to making your wireframe, sculpting the little miniature, casting the rubber molds, um, pouring the plastic in to make the duplicates, and then a little bit of painting. So this tutorial isn't all about um, each individual step, although I have tutorials for all of those steps that um, you can watch. This tutorial just shows you the process of how you go through that to, to start with nothing and then end up with a whole bunch of miniatures, sort of like a little miniature army. And you can see here that what I have is miniature lizard warriors that go inside my wall diorama and at the end and I also have some dwarfs there the, the, the white ones are dwarfs uh, they're unpainted and uh, these go inside my wall my fantasy wall diorama project and at the end of this video I'll show you them inside the fantasy wall diorama and you might want to check out those videos too because that diorama is coming out really nice and there's a lot of good uh, uh, diorama making uh, stuff in there so let's start with the process Okay, the first thing you do is you start with some sketches. And in this case, we're going to do our Lizard Warrior. And uh, I did a bunch of sketches on a bunch of different pages. This is just one page. And this one here is kind of my finalized version. I like that one. And a, real, a couple of notes about it is for casting, we're thinking in the future, for casting, I'm going to connect both the tail, both feet, and the sword to the base, which will make it easy to pour. It'll be easier, so. And then once you've got your... Uh, drawing done, the next step is you move on to your uh, armature. So I made up a wire armature, I soldered it together to keep it strong in the midsection there. Okay, I've got the major musculature done. I've got the musculature fleshed out there a little bit. Now it's time to move on. That's what you do, you get the major shapes in and then it's now it's time to move on to the details. Here's the next stage, just about complete. I've sculpted the Lizard Warrior. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I've been uh, looking at this, taking a good look at this uh, miniature Lizard Warrior. And you can see here the spaces in between here, the sword and the legs and the tail. There's like an area in there that's going to be very difficult to cast in a two-part mold. I'm probably not going to be able to get it out of the mold right. It won't. It won't form right. So what I, I should have probably not made the sword and then added that in later. Or what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to fill in a lot of this space here so it'll mold correctly. And that's something you got to consider when you're, you know, you're sculpting something. So I'm going to use. I have. I've made. I've mixed myself up some green stuff here just because the color contrast will show it off better. And I'm going to fill in a lot of that space. I'll lose some of the uniqueness of this miniature, but that's what I'm going to do. So in order, because I want to make molds and make duplicates of this for the wall down there. So I'll show you that when it's done. Okay, so I filled in that um, uh, leg and sword area on that lizard and it came out pretty good. And it had some extra um, green stuff left over, so I made a mushroom. I'll probably put those, you know, make some copies of those too and put those in the uh, diorama. It's is pretty cool. Okay, I've started the molding process. I have the um, clay half of the mold. I'll be pouring rubber in to make the first half of the rubber mold. Ah, you got to peel this, peel your clay away. And this is where the different types of clay really make a difference. And there we go. And pour it just like we did the first half of the mold. Nice and slow. A thin stream from a high, good height. And only in one corner of the mold.
have it. A little miniature lizard man, lizard warrior. Tail's a little stuck. Okay. So, I'll trim off the flashing and uh, we'll make some more. And there you go, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I made ten of them. And also, while I was at it, I made more dwarves, so miners. So let's move on to the next step. We'll be painting these up. So I'm going to paint them up. I'm not going to show you how to paint them. I'm going to paint them up and I'll show you the final product. Okay, I just wanted to say I finished my miniature army of lizard warriors and they look pretty good. I did. A, I had a little fun making different paint schemes and whatnot. Did some variations. I've got the little leader that's a little bit different on the left there. And I've left my my <clears throat> original sculpture unpainted so I could actually make more. I just wanted to show you the uh, little lizard warrior army inside the wall diorama. So that's where they're going to be going. And this, this whole part here is like the lizard's domain with their temple and whatnot. So, so there you go. So um, this uh, wall diorama is an ongoing series of projects that I'm doing, series of tutorials. And you can check on this project on my website. And lots more stuff, lots more fun stuff on my website at www.stormthecastle.com.